This is Outnumbered. I'm Katie Pavlich, and here today, Fox News correspondent Molly Line, Fox News contributor Lisa Booth, former director of strategic communications for Hillary Clinton, Adrian Elrod, and, and senior fellow at the Center for National Interest. You are outnumbered for Welcome, the first Christian. time. Welcome, Christian. Thank you. George President Bush and President Trump here today. Yeah. So, C couple things that uh, are today voluntarily, but there could have been. A uh, is he just using and abusing the press? Should they have seen this coming? He's a long time partisan. Well, I think they have multiple anonymous sources. But oh, how do you trust any of those? Multiple if this Lanny Davises. Wrong, yeah. Like who? If, it, if they're anonymous sources, are people like Lanny Davis? Well, but that's not why they're retracting your the former story, candidate. Then they should really think about because they what say that they have their sources. sources. Are. But was, did they have trust any of them? The other source was Lanny Davis, just using a different voice. The other source was so Michael Cohen, Lanny Davis, <laughs> or someone tweeted it's uh, Hillary Danny Clinton Davis. Herself. <laughs> yeah. Get it? Just switch. Well, I just want to add to your little screenplay here that it is kind of insane that Lan you've got Lanny Davis. Uh, things will be back to business as usual if we if you can't move towards denuclearization. Right. A bunch of office. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but it would be funny to see if they sent the same type of letter. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see if a meeting ever does get rescheduled and how much China would ultimately play in that, since that seems to be where a lot of the leverage is leaning right now. Go ahead, Lisa. Well, I was going to say, I, I think rising. Rising. And and the levels they need thousands. to be they, they rising. Are. Well, and we've also seen hundreds of thousands of jobs added for the manufacturing yeah. sector as well. The president isn't going into these states and saying, we're going to get rid of your jobs like mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton did in West Virginia by saying we're going to put coal miners out of business. So this, so this, 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 situ this situation with NAFTA, it's progress. Is there a long way to go? Yes. Sure. And I find it amazing, again, that Democrats for years, right. Nancy we've, Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, have called for NAFTA reform. And when okay. President Trump gets a step there, we've they're got to go. To All right. Well, more outnumbered in just a moment, so stay tuned.